guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and the really bright light. Today we're gonna make a budget-friendly DIY that could be made with all Dollar Tree products. However, it's less expensive to not. How about that? So I will show you what supplies you need and then you can decide what is cheaper for you. So what I have we're gonna make is coasters with family pictures on them how fun is that so the dollar tree sells coasters i think they're three inches by three inch so they're smaller than this size um i went to my hardware store home depot and i picked up these coaster or these coasters they're tiles i picked them up for um eight cents a piece so that is definitely cheaper than the dollar tree and I got 12 because that's what I'm doing. You want some type of parchment paper or newspaper or something because it's going to get messy. Some scissors or a rotary cutter. Uh, definitely a ruler of some kind. A mat or if you don't have a mat. Um, some cork. Now I used this from the Dollar Tree. It is 11.75 by 7.75. So it's a little shy of 8 by 12. But I was able to get 6 coasters out of one sheet so I use two sheets now if you can't find this at your Dollar Tree check Walmart check the hardware store I know they sell cork shelf liner if you don't want to use cork you can use a piece of felt you can get felt at um, Dollar Tree they have little rolls of it or you can get it at the har you know Hobby Lobby for super cheap so you could use felt for the backing I'm just using cork because that's what I have uh, Mod Podge Fix all adhesive. This is great stuff. I love it. Um, oh, and you can use this is from the Dollar Tree as well. Mod Podge on the top or bottom. I'm choosing to seal mine with this one coat polyurethane. I picked this up at Walmart. It's Minwax. They have the polycrylic as well. Um, I, my store was out, so I grabbed that. Um, yeah, and pictures. So this is the fun part. Pictures. These pictures today, if I put printed them out while I was there, were 39 cents a print um, at CVS. But if you ordered them and went and picked them up an hour later, they were 29 cents a print. So I went on to Facebook and stole the pictures from my family and friends. Because that's how I roll. I mean, you just have to save it and print it. Except for the ones that are mine. Because those were on my phone. But... The other ones that I have for the rest of my family, uh, I'm gifting to two separate people, but the same pictures because we were all together. So that's a gift. And each person will get four coasters. And these are great size too for like a big mug of coffee or a big cup. And when I seal them, they'll be protected. So we'll sit back, enjoy, and make your list. Um, and like I said, you could get any of the stuff, all of it at the Dollar Tree or save more money and go to your hardware store and spend eight cents on a tile. So there's that. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. Okay, we're gonna cut some cork. Now, as you saw in the beginning, we have four inch by four inch tiles from the hardware store. They are a little bigger than four inches, which is perfect because we're gonna cut our cork or felt in four inch squares. See, perfect. And then they'll be a little smaller. And I'll show you a quick cut. Now I do have cork again from the Dollar Tree, but you can use felt, like I said, you can use anything. The one hard part that I have found with this so far is it's slippery the adhesive back, but you need it that way. And this is not quite 12 inches. So I'm just centering it, taking my longer ruler, lining it up on the four inch mark. So eight inches, my Dollar Tree rotary blade, and just really carefully cutting it straight across. And I'm gonna do the same thing at the four inch line. You can measure it out. Oops, see, like I went off center there, it's okay. I wasn't paying attention. There we go. So this one will be just a little off. It's okay, right? We don't really care that much. And if it's too much, then I'll go back and just, I have another piece of cork. There we go. 
Now it does get kind of gross on your rotary cutter. Be prepared for that. And then this is eight inches wide ish. So again, I'm just kind of centering it there. And I will cut it at the four inch mark to make a four inch square. So we'll get six um, four inch squares out of one of these pieces of cork. And if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. The point of this is the back of the tile is scratchy and you don't want that on your furniture. You could also just buy at the Dollar Tree, they have those little felt circles that screw on to protect your furniture. You can just buy those and glue them on. I'm just, I had this cork and I wanted to make this a gift. So there's that. Okay, but you do you. Felt at the Dollar Tree, cork at the Dollar Tree, or the little felt, I don't know if I have any, but you put them on the feet of your furniture and they sell it in the hardware section. No, nope, that's five inches, Lori. They sell it in the hardware section and it's self-adhesive. So you can put those on the back of the cork and I'll show you here in one second. Okay, so we're gonna take a piece of that and you just put this on it. And I'll glue it with the adhesive and some extra glue. And what this will do is keep it from, I mean, I don't know that it would scratch your furniture, but I also don't think I want that on my furniture. So, what I will bring you down here. Sorry about the shadowing. So, what I'm going to do is take some of this Dollar Tree adhesive, and I'm going to use a lot of it, not going to lie. Peel this off the back. I'm opening this up, and I am literally going to... I want it on all the high spots because that's where it's going to touch, right? And again, if I was making this just for me, I wouldn't care, but it's a gift and I want it to last. All right, so I have my Fix-All, AKA E6000, the sticky side down. I'm just going to press it really well and let it sit and i'm making sure that all these high spots have been adhered and that the e6000 or the fix all is on there now i'll have to let that sit and dry until we do start working on the front side perfect right so i'm gonna keep going now we're gonna cut some pictures. So I printed off pictures of the cats. I'm making gifts, but I made myself a set too to show you. So I have some more, but I decided I'm gonna do my last one of my mama. Cause I miss her. And I wanna show you how I cut these to size. So these are four by six. So this way is already four inches. I just have to cut it up and down. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna line her up here on this line. So I'm gonna take some of the top off. This was a picture I already had. So it definitely is not something that I printed today, but that's okay. And then I just took my rotary cutter, cut it on the line. It doesn't matter what line you cut it on. It just matters that I trimmed it down. And this is right before she passed away. So then I line it up here and I want to go over one, two, three, four inches and cut it off. So to square it, if you have one of these, I'm just going to do it on the four inch line. If you don't have a rotary cutter and a mat, just use scissors. Take your ruler, draw up a line with pencil on the back and cut it. Oops, did I break it? Well, maybe it's loose. Oh, the blade got loose. Be careful with these guys. Okay. Too tight. And pull it across the middle. Oops. There we go. I'm not exactly sure what's happening with this thing, but it was a dollar. We don't care. So, there we go. 
I cut out her picture. She's four inches by four inches. And it's gonna get attached here. Now, if I wanna make them a little smaller, I could to have more white around it, but I like these, like that. So that's how I cut and measured everything. You wanna keep an eye on your um, cork backings too. I'm having to push them down just cause they're lifting a little bit, but they'll need to dry for several hours. But I got all my pictures cut out. This is my favorite too of the boys. And that's a really good one of Wellington. And then I have a good one of Alex. All right, so I'm ready. I'm just waiting on this to dry and then we'll do the next step. All right, we've got the backs dry or enough. They'll dry overnight, but the backs are got the cork stuck. I've got some paint on the back of a receipt here. Not paint, I'm sorry. I'm using Mod Podge. This is gloss. I'm, it doesn't matter. I'm just using it to adhere the pictures to the tile. Now, if you see this is super shiny, it's gonna take some work to make it stick completely, which is perfectly fine. So we're just gonna put a nice layer of the Mod Podge on to the tile, just like that. And we're gonna do the same over here, on here. Any Mod Podge will work. Like I said, this happens to be gloss, but that is fine. Oops, that's a lot of Mod Podge on here. So I'm just spreading it out in a nice even layer. And then I'm going to take two pictures because I have two. Oops, I need to stop putting that in the way. Uh, we'll do Wellington on one. Sure. Now you can just sit them and it's if you see what's happening, it slides around, which is good. So I can center it. And then you want to make sure you tap it all the way around because you want it to stick and then we'll take mama because she was the next in line and again get these corners down and i'm just tapping trying not to get any mod podge on the picture but if you do it's fine we're going to seal this but this layer has to dry so this is such an easy inexpensive project the only issue is it, it's not even an issue, but the only thing is that it takes a little while because you have to dry between coats. Now, if you were using just plain Mod Podge, you could go over these again and just do several layers of Mod Podge. I'm using polyurethane, so I want to make sure each layer in between has dried, right? So I just set those to the side. And I will bring out two more and keep moving. So I'm literally just, and I have some more here to do. I'm making three sets, so I'm making 12. But we just want Mod Podge on a brush. And I got the Mod Podge at the Dollar Tree. Um, the Dollar Tree also sells the tile. I think I said that before. Or they sell coasters, but they're a dollar a piece. So that's not really cost effective, but you do you. You do what you can get. If you don't have a hardware store near you, which I feel like they sell these tiles at really any hardware. I have a piece of cork um, that they have at any, you know, hardware store. Or you could also get them at like a Habitat for Humanity Restore. They've recycled some old tiles off a house. I've done that before too. Although I feel like these were cheaper than I paid there. But that's okay. Whatever. So now we've got the boys together because they're cute and I like them. Just making sure everything is adhered to the best of my abilities, right? We just want to make sure it's all in contact with that glue or Mod Podge in this case. Yep, and there we go. And then one of just little Mr. Alex enjoying the fireplace. And then I move them off to the side here and I'm just leaving them all back here to dry. And they'll just dry at their own little leisure, you know? What you do not want is this picture to hang over the side of the tile 
because what then will happen is when you touch it, it's going, it will rip it off the top. You really want to have that border of white around it. You can even paint the sides. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but that is it. I'm going to paint the last of these, let them dry. I'll do all four at once. Let them dry for a couple hours. And then I'll come back up probably tomorrow, I will say. We'll let them dry overnight. And then we're going to polyurethane them, let that dry, and then they're done. So for now, I'm just going to finish up these and clean up my mess. Because I have Mod Podge on this mat, we want to wipe it off. Right? Clean as you go. All right. Well, that is this step. So easy. Super duper easy. Okay. So everybody is done. They're all dry. <laughs> That's Nuna, Sarah's little dog. Uh, so they're dry. Um, some of them might have a little chip in it. So I'm going to put some of this polyurethane like right in that chip. But other than that, and this is polyurethane by Minwax. And this is one coat, dries clear. And I'm going right over the picture. I'm trying to seal this, this in. So this one step, you definitely want to take your time. You don't want a lot of bubbles. And what I do is go one direction, huh, and then the other. So I go this way and that way. And I bought the stuff. This is water cleanup. So it's not oil-based, which is nice. I try to make sure I get it really good around these edges just in case I missed some of the um, Mod Podge. You know, so if we get this clear stuff up under your corners, it'll help attach it better. And that's it. And then I just move it to the side. Now, touching it is, you know, you're going to get it on your fingers. You can wear gloves if you want. I just have a paper towel here. Um, and I have let it sit to the side here for a minute. Let it do its thing. Um, if I don't think it's, you know, good enough or, or sealed enough, I can always go back after it dries and do a second coat. So, like I said before, oh my gosh, this is a perfect personalized gift. Like, who wouldn't love to have these in their house? And it's always, you know, it's just about them. You take their pictures, really or pictures of family members, or if you went on a trip. And then you just, you know, let them dry. And that is it, then we're done. So the most time consuming part of this whole endeavor is dry time. So you really wanna let it dry good in between its coats so that you don't mess anything up you know, when you're on the next step. That is the whole process. So you could totally just go into your craft space or your table or whatever, paint it up, get everything how it should be, and then let it, and just walk away. Let it dry, come back the next day, a couple hours later, and do the next step. And that's it. And these are going to be fantastic gifts. And a set of four is costing me, for materials, less than $5. And I tell you, anybody would be happy, happy to receive a set of these as a gift. I'm 100% sure of it. All right, I'm going to seal these all up. I'm going to snip my finger. I'm going to seal them all up, and then I will um, show you when they're all dry. All right, here they are, the finished gifts. How pretty are they? This is the boys. Look how shiny it is with that sealer on it instead of Mod Podge. But again, you can go either direction. So these are mine. I'm not going to wrap them up. There's my mama. But this is how they'll look all packaged up, tied with a string. I'll give them in a gift bag. And that is a beautiful gift for somebody in your life that really was less than $3 to make. How exciting is that? I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk with you later. Bye!